Good afternoon and welcome to Footy Nines here at Rugby Park Marara, Darwin this afternoon. A great innovation and a grand final in front of us and in fact it's a repeat of the NTFL grand final from the season end of 21, sorry 2020, 2021. Nightcliff taking on St Mary's. That was an absolute cracker of a grand final and here we are at the end of the Footy Nines and it's a grand final between Nightcliff and St Mary's. So... A terrific team too. Both of them uh, line up with a lot of good names. The Tigers, the Premiers. We've got Liam Hopp, Fitz, Cam Islet, Nathan Brown, Ryan Nyhouse, Trent Melville, Daniel Bowles, Brody they, they, Philo. They, they didn't bring a second string team. They, both teams This is a are very stunning strong. team. Saints turn up with Tyler Saunders, Nate Paredes, uh, Matt Wilkinson, Patrick Taban, a former Nightcliff player lining up here for St Mary's. Jacob Long playing, Ryan Smith playing, Josh Cheek. This should be one cracker of a grand final here. A different field, a different setup, some different rules. This yeah, is a game see, that goes at pace. You can see them just, the Ruckman, just asking exactly. So if I st they got to start on the end of that line. So one step and then they can jump. So the rules are a tad different. A little bit different. We but see Ryan Smith to line up against Daniel Bowles. And this is something that we saw last season, Tash. Here we go. Bowles in the way. 15 minutes for this first half. Tap down, goes straight to Jacob Long from Ryan Smith. Up front, no mark taken. Off hands, players charging through. Good gather, nice little handball off to Cheek. Kick off the side of the boot is wide. And you can see the crossed arms there indicating no score. And it will now be brought back into play through the goals by Nyhouse. And Cheek won the push-up challenge today. We've had a few events and he won the push-up challenge. So picked up, missed there by... The Tigers, it's to Saunders. Saunders goes back, looking for a teammate. For the Saints, picked up, comes back to Saunders, puts it to the hot spot. In the back, no umpire says, play on. Hey, inside out, banana if you don't mind, but goes across the face, it stays in. Still in play. So Brown, with the kick, and finds his teammate in Melville. So Melville now. From what we'd normally say is about right half back. Kicks <laughs> down the line and it is a straight line. Patrick Taban was able to come through. Just didn't take the footy with him then. Holt fits. Tries to step around. Gets a kick away. Comes off the side of the boot. Charging in at it. Here is Bowles. Can he get a handball away? Doesn't need to. Gets oh. a kick away instead. That was a great gather. High up and under. Kyle Emery underneath it. And Emery will take the mark. And Emery will go back and have the first deliberate shot on goal in this grand final. Yeah, and he's a good kick, isn't he? Very rarely misses, so he should go back and nail this one. Just an error back there for St. Mary's, and it's very fast-paced as well. So Kyle Emery now kicking over the man on the mark and Ryan Smith. That is a goes. beautiful kick on goal. And you can see the signal there. It's a bit different to what we're used to. The <laughs> thumbs up. The international signal of, yep, everything's good. And the other rule as well is if it hits the post and the crossbar and comes back in, it's play on. If it hits it and goes through, it's a goal. So we've seen a really good snap-on goal by Hagen with the buffets and it hit the crossbar and comes straight back out. It hit the black dot. <laughs> That's how good it was. So good. <laughs> So here we go with the Tigers with the first one on the board. And only in Darwin, Natasha, there's a dog on the pitch. <laughs> you can hear it somewhere. So here you go, St. Mary's with Islet tracking him, can have a shot. And it sails That's through. That's true. It wasn't a tap, no, it was a tap down. So from the ruck, it was a first tap. He has to pass it off. He cannot go for the shot on goal, so that does not count. Wow. That's, uh, that's harsh, isn't it? You've got to understand some of these new rules. Moniz Wakefield now gathers the footy, handballs to the advantage of a teammate. Little handball sideways goes to Melville. He's good on the left boot up towards Emery. Marking him is Taban. Emery gathers, turns him inside out, has a second shot at goal oh. and puts that straight through the middle. Nightcliff really playing good footy here and the thumbs up again second time around. Yeah, he just is never hardly misses Emery and Taban just got caught behind him a good turn by Emery of course they would have played together before absolutely yep so it's good to see to band back in up in Darwin back in a footy jumper it might not be the one we're used to but no he's looking very fit and solid out there so Bowles back in against Smith Smith just hits it down looking for Paredes Paredes goes to ground gives it back to Cheek Cheek 
The kick forward, but well read there by the Tigers defender. And that was no house. Off to Brown, the former captain. Chip up the wing and ball oh, comes what off the they hands come off that? of <laughs> Melville, I think. Looks like he might have done himself a bit of an injury, perhaps. No, nah, I hope not. No, he's just fixing up the boot. There's a Wilkinson. Takes the free kick in the shade here of the grandstand at Rugby Park, Marara. Normally a good kick of the footy. G4 onto one here. Brown tracking the footy after it came off hands. Paredes gathered, had it knocked away. Will go for the shot on goal. He does. He chipped it. Oh. Went the snap. Oh, that was and close. Snapped sideways. So no score again for St. Mary's. He had Danachik as well free. Could have given the hand pass off, but decided to go with the inside out banana. So on the attack already are the Tigers. It's out wide. Bowles hit away by Smith, but Bowles keeps it in. Needs to screw it back up to Melville. Melville picks it up, tries to get it over to Emery. To Ban comes away and then kicks it straight to the opposition that then drills it through the big sticks. So I think that was McGregor. Marley McGregor has just drilled one for the Tigers. So the Tigers have their third on the board. Ten minutes left in this first half. Gee, really playing good direct footy, aren't they? The Nycliffe Tigers, they really are the top football team in the Territory at the moment. There is just no doubt about that. Great direct footy, players moving into space. And Marley McGregor, just from the pressure that came, picked it up one grab straight through for and, goal. And how fast is it? And what I love so much about today is that every club has bought their top players. It's not like just whoever wants to come and play. They're taking this that serious that it's been a really great day. Down from Smith to Cheek. Little handball sideways to Paredes. Caught. Cut off now by Philo. I thought it touched his boot there, but that's not what the call was for. The call was for Paredes being held. So he now plays on. Paredes will chip sideways. Finds a teammate out wide. Kick on goal. Bit of a floater. Brown underneath it. He takes the mark as the call. I reckon that was over. It was over the line, so it would be a kick out. No, they're going to class it as a mark. So he's going to get him to do it all over again here. So that was well called there. The goal umpire was right on the line. So, so Brown is going to look for... I thought he's going to go short to Philo. Now he does not he finds Emery. Good mark by Emery. Go long to Moo. Moo's there. That's what he does. He goes long if it bounces over the back. And a, nearly a good mark by Saunders. That's gone over. No, they've said it stayed in. Moo picks it up. And snaps a cross goal. Out there is Holt Fitz. Holt Fitz gets to the ball first. And then squares it up to Philo. Well, he's definitely within distance. So the Tigers could get their fourth on the board here. And Philo will get his first. Isn't it amazing how some teams are just able to create space? And the oh. Tigers are just doing that beautifully at the moment. So Philo goes in. Looks good off the boot. The umpire does not move and it's through for a goal. They have their fourth on the board, the Tigers, with eight minutes left in the second half. Oh, this First is, half, sorry. This has been a cracking seven minutes of football from the Nycliffe Tigers. One would think that they only played the grand final yesterday oh. and they're just back into it again already. Looking how, how really fit, solid. How fit do both teams look, but yep. at this time of year when pre-season's only really just starting, I know some clubs have been in pre-season probably about four weeks. You've just got to look at Cameron Island gathering oh. that football there and how fit he looks. He, oh. is he never, I've never seen him look unfit. unfit. <laughs> yeah, fantastic stuff. Taban now in the ruck for St. Mary's. I still can't get used to seeing him in a St. Mary's Guernsey. Flipped sideways there. To the advantage now of St. Mary's. Paredes needs to get rid of the footy and he does. Saints now in their forward line. They just don't look as cohesive as the Tigers. Flicked out here to McGregor. Taken high, I thought. Play on was the call. He's held the ball in. If he keeps it in, he might get pinged. And they're pushed over the line. That has to be a free kick there to St. Mary's. Taken over the line by Nightcliff. Yep, well and done. over. So it has to be a free to St. Mary's. The immediate turnover. And this is where this game is just extraordinary. Because you've got to try and keep it in. It doesn't matter how close it is to the line. So, it's last touch. So Josh Cheek with the corner kick. Very much like soccer. Good corner kick it is too. No mark taken by Cogo. Tigers are away again. Streaking forward. Good kick. Wilkinson, does he take the mark? Oh, well he done. does. That's a good defender's mark. So Wilkin plays on quickly. Goes out wide. Can hand pass to Paredes. He ignores that and goes long all by himself. Is the Saints player in Nolhouse? I think, no? Sorry. Jack Robinson. Jack Robinson. 
looking at the wrong team sheet then. So they need this one, St. Mary's. So Robinson comes in. The breeze has died down and the goal umpire does not move and that's a goal. The first on the board for St. Mary's to Robinson. So they needed that just to take the pressure away from the Tigers are putting on them. And we have just under six minutes left in this first half. Well, again, a really good piece of play there. And well done to Wilkinson. Isn't it amazing how the footy can transition so quickly? Once Wilkinson had that ball, shot it out to Long, his good kick, bang, suddenly a shot on goal. And what a season he had last year as well, Wilkinson. Ruck contest now. Initially one down by Smith, then to Islet. Josh oh, Cheek well done. just buried in a tackle by Islet. Turnover, good kick, Melville. Suddenly he has the footy and Josh Cheek getting up somewhat worse for wear there. And Trent Melville, 45 degree angle, will have a yet another steady shot on goal for the Nycliffe Tigers. I reckon I'd get up a bit ginger as well if Islet tackled me. <laughs> Trent Melville. Always oh. a beautiful <laughs> kick on goal. And that is just no exception at all. What a champion player he is. He's been so great for the Nightcliff Tigers. And that is just another example. So score check. The Nightcliff Tigers have now kicked five goals to one. We've got five minutes to go in this first half. Yeah, what a ripper of a game we've seen so far. The girls game at last before this was the Buffets one over the Queen Ants. That was a ripper of a game as well. So St. Mary's can still come back, but it's just their forward line, I don't think, has had the, uh, the same structure. But here we go, Cheek. Quickly gets it on the boot, trying to go out to Robinson. He tracks it, kicks it across the face. They've got the numbers here, and Paredes will take the mark. He plays on, and he kicks the goal. So St. Mary's get their second on the board by Paredes. Much-needed goal. Four minutes will be left by the time we get by, come back into the middle. So they needed that. I thought he'd just about bucket that up by playing on. The pressure was there, but Paredes, they found the extra man. Well done to St. Mary's. And Nate Paredes, one of those players who just constantly and consistently gets in the right position. I, I've been um, helping out commentate the soccer, and I see him down playing soccer. He's just a gun. Ball back out of the middle. Saunders wrestling away here, beaten forward by Philo. Off to Bowles. Beautiful oh, left foot kick lovely. from Bowles. How many times do we say that? And off to Melville for another shot on goal. This time left of centre. And again, kicking from about a 45 degree angle. Matt Wilkinson, the man who has to stand the mark. There's no breeze now, but this morning there was that much of a breeze that the ball was just going left to right by about 10 metres. So Melville, so, kick good. on its way. Started at left, stayed left. And there you are. Again, another new signal for us to get used to. The crossed arms indicating <laughs> no score at all. No points in this game. Simply a goal or nothing. And when you're behind, it actually looks better on the board. <laughs> yeah. I noticed that today. Good kick out wide. So St. Mary's. Saunders is there. Should take this. He doesn't. It was over the top. So he gets there first. Good body work there by the Tigers. Picked up. And there's a free kick. So Moo's got to hand the ball over to St. Mary's and Danachik kicks it forward. Robinson couldn't take it on the bounce. Nullhouse is there. Moo gets it. Gets it back to Nullhouse. The bounce. Oh, if it gets behind, they're on here. Emery tracking the footy, but St. Mary's will come away with it. Kick up. And Ooh. the screamer there almost by Nullhouse. Ball to ground. Ryan Moo. Gathered, lost it, Paredes off towards Taban, oh, tried to palm leg, off, got leg. legged perhaps. Yep. That is the call. Well done, Tash. Spot on there with that call. Nathan Brown, the man standing the mark. And Patrick Taban, <laughs> known for a long kick, Tash. He can kick this it. This is not beyond him here. So right of centre. It'd be his first goal in these colours as well. Kick on its way. It will have the distance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Touched on the line. Push forward. Liam Holt fits in a wrestle here with Ryan Smith. He tries to paddle it forward. Feigns the handball initially. Gets it away to Paredes. Quickly on to the boot. And there in perfect position is Ryan Nyhouse, the champion defender for the Tigers. So Nyhouse, with less than two minutes left, gets it to Bowles. Bowles goes out wide to Brown. He couldn't see the footy. Let it bounce. Now he kicks it forward. And an errant kick in the end taken by Danicic. Good work by Paredes. Now he's within range. He can go back. They need this. That's a minute and a half left. And, and that's the interesting thing here too. 
They can see the time. They know how long there is. And there he goes. Looks good. The goal on by oh. does not move. So he's got the third on the board. He's got his second. And St. Mary's at two goals behind the Tigers with about a minute left by the time they get back in the middle. Very, very smart play there by Nate Paredes. Knew exactly what was going on and made the most of it by kicking that really important goal. Mike, they've got away to a quick lead, but now five goals to three, less than a minute to play in this first half. What an entertaining first half it's been too. Back in the middle, here we go. Taken away by Saunders, couldn't get the hand pass off. Oh, it gets taken high, play on. He ducked into it, I'm not sure how he did that. Paredes couldn't take that mark. M. Holt fits. Pulled off the footy. You can hear the crowd going off. They didn't like that call. Islet comes tracking through. Cheek, then he gets taken high by Depan, De, <laughs> to Ben, but sort of held him. There was no malice in that. It was accidental. And the champion, Cam Islet, should go back and nail this. Usually better on the run than a set shot, I must say. Don't want to put the mockers on him, but what a champion of the game this man has been. As he goes in. And straight over the black dot. Look at that. There we go. So the Tigers have their six on the board. Yep, as it ticks over. There it and is. And there we go. We're half time here in the men's grand final. And the Tigers are winning by three goals. Welcome back to the second half here at Rugby Park Marara. St. Mary's taking on the mighty Nycliffe Tigers here in the 49s grand final. Six goals to three is the lead for the Tigers with 15 minutes to go in this second half. Goal kickers so far for the Tigers. Two goals to Kyle Emery, singles to Brody Philo, Trent Melville, Cam Islet and Marley McGregor. For St Mary's, two goals to Nathaniel Paredes and one goal to Zach Robinson. Yeah, it was a good half by the Tigers and Cameron Islet got the sixth on the board just before half time, which put them out by three goals. But St. Mary's really worked their way back in towards the second half of that, that, first, that first half. Up in the ruck contest now. Smith taps it down. Philo tracking the footy. Trying to chase him is Coggo. Gets a nice ball away to Liam Holt. Fitz wrestle on. And a good mark taken by Trent Melville against Matt Wilkinson. We've called that as a contest a few times. <laughs> Melville just plays on quickly. That's what you've got to do in this situation. Off to Kyle Emery, I'd, and I'd, he's taken the mark. No, no, Nate Paredes is asking the question because he's saying you, at the start of the competition, we were told you couldn't kick it backwards, and it, and it sort of couldn't get class as mark. So I'm a bit confused with that myself. That's what Nate Paredes is asking. So Kyle Emery having the shot on goal and puts it straight through the middle immediately. So he has three goals to become the leading goal scorer for this grand final to date. But this makes it a lot closer here so yeah no we were told sideways or backwards it was uh so we've got the rules here but yeah the the umpires got us out early and gave us a bit of a rundown and, and that was one of the things that we were told it, whether it's correct or not but I reckon that's um what Paredes was asking but it's obviously okay because the goal counts so Smith Holt Fitz was there, but Philo goes himself with that booming left foot that he's got. Moo gets taken to the ground, almost holding the footy. Japan manages to get boot to ball. It's close to the sideline, but Philo, look at this. Bowles is on by himself. He can have a shot. He was in the longest goal kicking uh, competition today, and he nails it. It goes through. So the Tigers have their eighth on the board, and he was all alone in the midfield. How does that happen? Very easily if you're a Tiger oh. player, so it's same. No, it doesn't really. It's because he works hard. The players all got drawn over to the other side of the field when Saints took possession, but Bowles just hung back, and he did beautifully. And Brody Philo, of course, just so good with his kicking left or right. Oh. Just popped the ball on the left foot, found him quickly. Players talked to him, which was important. Bowles knew he had time. And one step, and he just booms it, doesn't he? So picked up by Paredes. Handball over the shoulder. Liam Holt Fitz picks it up. Then Philo again, bit of a mongrel kick that time. Islet didn't go into the contest, the band was there. And a good mark in the end taken by McGregor, I think that is. Marley McGregor kicked a goal in the first half. 
Oh, Emery just come from nowhere. Saunders applies the tackle and it's going to be a ball up in the forward half for the Tigers. Cameron Island looks a bit sore after that contest, Dominic, and yeah. he's come off. I tell you what, if Patrick Taban crashed into me, I'd look pretty sore too. But, I wouldn't uh, get up. <laughs> we don't expect it from Cameron Island, but he is looking pretty sore. It looks like he's hurt a groin there, so I hope he's okay. Good pick up here in the midfield by Nyhouse. Just cruises through beautifully. Looks up and finds a teammate in Nathan Russell, and his teammates are saying, go back and have a deliberate shot <laughs> look, on look, goal look here. Look at Philo asking for it. <laughs> Right next to yep, him. He was too, and now Nathan Russell has said, no way, I'm having <laughs> a shot here, mate. And he's got a smile on his <laughs> face. <laughs> he's saying chip it short now to Liam Holt. Fitz who's standing all by himself, 25 from goal. Oh, Russell that's has why. The kick and he's oh. missed. He's just burnt two teammates. They will not be impressed with that at all. 11 and a half minutes to go here. Eight goals to three is the Tigers' lead. Matt Wilkinson kicks out and finds the former Tiger in Patrick Taban. So Taban, Taban's going to go... Forward, there's Saunders. So Saunders, usually a good kick of the footy, but goes over the top. Does it stay in? It will. So picked up by Long. Long goes infield and smashed away there by Nullhouse, and it's going to be a free kick coming back to St Mary's. So I think that's Long that's going to take the free kick. Yeah, the immediate turnover. Whoever touches it last, it goes to the other team straight away. Oh, and that is a poor kick. Off hand, still an opportunity here potentially for Saints. Nice hands to Philo. Great vision off to Moo. That's Kieran Moo. Finds Moniz Wakefield. Handball to the run of Marley McGregor. He oh. will have a shot and he will <laughs> kick a goal. What superb play there by the Nycliffe Tigers. So that's his second, I think, Marley McGregor. It is indeed. Kick one in the first half. The interchanges taking place. So a good goal there by the Tigers. Stretch their lead out by six goals. Roughly ten minutes left. See the score there. The players just working themselves out. Bowls in the ruck. Brown comes on. In the back line for the Tigers. Oh, Philo just boots it forward. Smith's underneath it. Drops the mark he usually would take. Gets it at the back. So... Picking up the footy there for the Tigers. Bowles is coming through. Taps it forward to himself. Now he picks it up. He can go on the left. Goes across the face. Oh, but the Tigers are there. And an easy goal there by Emery. So he's got his fourth for the game. So two in the first and now two in the second. Yeah, that was just too easy there. And Saints defence now is just not working as hard as they should be. Kyle Emery unmarked. That's... Fair enough for a little while, but that ball hung in the air for a long, long time. No one ran to Kyle Emery, and then he was able to take the mark on the chest, simply turn around and pop the goal through. A great professional play by the Nycliffe Tigers. They're just continuing to stay on the move here throughout this second half. And good news for the Tigers because Islet is back out there. So there he is, gets the ball straight away. So crying ball, but the umpire says play on. Moo comes up, picks it up, dances around one. Now puts it onto the chest of his teammate. And going to go across to Bowles. And Bowles will take an easy mark, uncontested, within range. Will go back, take the shot on goal with less than nine minutes left. Again, just very, very good play. Such good names involved in that transition there. Islet, Moo, Philo. Moniz Wakefield off to Bowles. Oh. Reads the breeze beautifully, oh. Tash. And straight through the big sticks, the umpire... Puts his hands up. That's another goal to the Tigers. They stretch the lead out by eight now. About eight minutes will be left by the time they get it into the middle. It's going to be very hard for St Mary's from here. Yeah, almost impossible, I would suggest, Tash. Eight and a half minutes, 11 goals to three. The Tigers, just their professionalism and just so many good players out there. Very, very difficult for Saints to come back from this. Smith, beautiful tap out. Down to Paredes. Needs to get his kick away, trying to find a target. Here comes the target. Well punched away there. Tiger defence working well. Coming through strongly there was Danitich. Tackled to the ground by Nathan Brown. And the ball to be taken in the shade of the grandstand. You can see Paredes was asking his forwards to run forward because, of course, he couldn't kick the goal straight off the ruck. No one was sort of awake to it. To Ban gets around. Brownie, and it's a good goal. He snapped a goal. It's not easy to shrug off Brownie, but he did. And he's saying that it was a bit high, Brownie. No, so it's not a goal. He couldn't because it was a ruck. It was a ruck contest, and he could not kick it straight from the ruck. So 
Well picked up by the umpires there as the Tigers come away. Wilkinson smashes that away from Melville, so Melville will have the free kick. And he's within range, of course. He's got to jump the fence because no one's over there. Just as we have to do at Marara, <laughs> over goes the player. Oh, dear. But th that's probably the hardest rule to remember is off the ruck, you can't kick a goal straight away. Yep. So Melville. Beautiful pass. Yeah, that's a beautiful ball. Who's that? So Monty's Wakefield so Monty's there. Wakefield. Can't see those numbers from... He should be able to line way. up and have a shot at goal. He hasn't kicked one yet. He's done well up there. Another good young player. He comes in, looks good off the boot, but just across the face. So that's going to be a kick out to Paredes. He needs to play on quickly. They've got six and a half minutes left to try and kick eight goals. Nine goals to win. Should be easy, Tash. Oh. Paredes off to Smith. Big man needs to move it here. He knows that too. Goes the chip. That's just a setup of a chip pass there. Went to cheat the shortest guy there. Somehow it comes back to him. He did beautifully. Handball to Paredes is good. He has a bounce with two players coming towards him. Goes to Danitic. Now to Taban. Should this one be a goal? It yeah. should, and it is. Well done. Great enterprising play through the middle, Tash. Where was that all game? That was beautiful set up by St. Mary's, and Taban gets the goal that was disallowed earlier from a ruck contest. But Good beautiful from the big man. And, and cheek. Under oh. pressure, it was a hospital pass, I must say, and he managed to uh, control it and then get it out to the running Paredes, who gave it off to, to Ban and kicked a beautiful goal. Back in the middle now. Saints need another eight of those to win this game in five and a half minutes. What are their chances, Tash? Uh, nil. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Tossed up high, Smith beaten for it by Bowles. Bowles just chases after it, gathers, gives it off to Liam Holt Fitz. Lovely little chip finds Kieran Moo. And look at that out of the midfield, Tash. Just numbers open everywhere. And the thing is, is that they start behind the little orange mark, as you can see. Mm -hmm. So the three forwards have to start with the three defenders back there and at the opposite field as well. But you just seen that the St. Mary's defender went into the midfield and just left his man open with Moo. So Kieran Moo now with the shot on goal. It hangs, hangs in the air for a little while, but straight through the middle. Well done, Kieran Moo, and he kicks his first goal of this grand final. Second half action here. The Tigers well in command. Five minutes to go, 12 goals to four. Isn't it good to see the Moo brothers out there? I think uh, Tigers have so much depth, it's scary. Yeah, that's right. I mean, Ryan Moo has been such a good player for a long period of time, and now there's another one. Coming through, so the tap... To Saunders' advantage, he can't have a shot on goal. And you can see he looked at the goals, he knew straight away. So he's picked up that rule pretty quickly, which is good. And that come off the boot. Oh, so no, the no, no play to advantage, obviously, either. So they're like bringing it back here. Marley McGregor's in the back line now. It's kicked two goals in this game. Nolhouse is calling it and he's all by himself and he's going to take the mark. So Nyhouse now from deep in defence for the Tigers. Little chip finds Liam Holt Fitz. More in the corridor. Comes out wide again. It goes oh. to Philo, who was caught from behind. Smith taps it to Taban. He tries to step one way. Oh, well done. Is cornered. Has to pop the ball up high. Pitches, bounces out. And that will be a free immediately to Ryan Nyhouse. And they're all patting each other on the back during that contest as well. I love the concept of this game. It's really friendly. Everyone plays in the good spirits, and it's really good fun. I know I've enjoyed the day. Been a lot to take in with the rules, but it's enjoyable. So the Tigers can just chip it around. There's three and a half minutes left. No house. Go in the middle to Islet. No one's around him. Islet will go out to Emery. Emery couldn't trap it. Robinson's moved to the back line now. Moo goes without it. He Emery picks it back up, snaps on goal. Wilkinson's oh, there. Oh, and a good a mark by mark. Melville. <laughs> One hander, if you don't mind, over Wilkinson. That's not easy to do. And Trent Melville. Oh, we're going. Stevie J kick. And he drills it home. So the Tigers have their 13th on the ball at, on the board, and Melville has his second. Oh, that was just a ripping goal. But what a great contest over on the other side of the ground by Kyle Emery. He was one-on-one, -on -one, then he was two-on-one, managed to get the foot. He snapped it back. I reckon he was going for goal. Yeah, the, e the effort, yeah. yeah. The effort was good. He snapped it back, and then Trent Melville, up high, just managed to juggle the ball, drag it in with the one hand. Just superb Australian rules football skills. 
So here we go. We've got just under two and a half minutes left. Saunders again. Well done by Islet. Saunders. He can't go for goal. The band can, but. And he kicks his second for the game. And St. Mary's have their fifth. Now he's been a handy pickup for St. Mary's, I must say, to Ben. And we've been away for a couple of years, I would think. Yeah, been down in Victoria, yep. I think. Playing down there in, the, in yep. the, I think, one of the comps down there. Yep, and has come back looking fitter. To me, his kicking skills are better than when he left. And if he truly has crossed to St. Mary's, I mean, I'm disappointed for Nycliffe in that regard because he was a good player for them. Hey, I, what a, what I had the Wanderers jumper Mary's. on today and everyone's assumed I've gone. <laughs> we, we had a few um, Crocs girls and we had a Nycliffe girl, but we just sort of put the jumper on and made some numbers. But I must say, I really, really enjoyed it with the Muck Mucks today. Free kick to advantage out of the midfield. Russell, beautiful lead there by Kyle Emery. And he gets the opportunity here, can you believe it, in this uh, shortened format to have a crack at his fifth goal it's here. A, a minute and a half to go in this second half. Tigers well in command in this grand final. 13 goals to five. Kyle Emery, two in the first half, two already in this second. Can he now kick his third for the second half and his fifth for the game? Comes in, strikes the ball oh. beautifully, and after that huge build-up, <laughs> of course he's missed. Commentators curse, so the they say sometimes. Curse. I yeah. reckon it's true as well. So Wilkinson, the kick out, finds Paredes. Great hands, can go on the inside. Can give the hands off. In the end, finds a teammate. Can have a shot. No, goes back. Kick on goal. And that goes across the face. We've got about 40 seconds left. Bowles will take the kick out here for the Tigers. They can waste the clock if they want. There's 30 seconds left. Bowles finds Liam Holt Fitz. Little pop up goes to Moniz Wakefield. Another nice little chip. Melville now into the middle. Uh, they're just running everywhere here, the Tigers. Nathan Russell has the shot on goal and kicks the goal. 14 goals to five. Nycliffe will win this grand final convincingly. There's just on 10 seconds to go. Yeah, they come out really strong in the second half. The first half set them up. But St. Mary's was still within it. But you can just see the strength of this Nightcliff side, the rotations they've done. And that's full time here, the men's grand final. Tigers are the winners, 14 to 5. And a great grand final between these two teams. The final score was Tigers 14, St. Mary's 5. Well, that's just a tremendous effort there by the Nycliffe Tigers. I have to say, Natasha, when we looked through the team shed, I couldn't believe the players that they'd actually brought out. Oh, yeah. A yep. lot of experience, much more so than the St. Mary's team, but really good. But they will be wrapped with that as a, uh, you know, a, a precursor for their pre-season, the season coming. Look at the players that they've got, some run in the legs, the, the lead-up games today, and then this grand final. They played some really good footy there in that grand final, and obviously in the lead-up games as well. St Mary's will be pleased as well. Again, another good hit-out, good opposition, different concept. Bringing players together, though, at this stage of the season and playing competitive footy, I think it's really positive. But how about this footy nines concept? There's uh, a number of different rules, a different ground, different goals to look at. I think it's worked really, really well. Yeah, I was expecting to rock up today and thought they'd actually have some goal posts with point posts. And then when we said, uh, are they the goals? It was so funny because we sort of all want to come and play some footy and some new rules, but nobody actually knew what, what the rules were or what was going on. So they gave us a bit of a debrief before the game. And But the concept, and we were already asking the organisers, where's the next comp? Um, can seems pretty good because it's COVID free at the moment. They only had, it's not in lockdown or anything like that. But usually this is over in Bali. So... Yes. I'm um, unfortunate due to COVID, but really looking forward to where the next uh, next place they have this because we're really keen to, to keep going. Well, this is just a wonderful concept, I think. And, of course, there's designs from uh, the organisers to press this ultimately towards the Olympics in 2040. So who knows? But there it is, 49s. We hope you really enjoyed it. Nycliffe running out easy winners in the end over St Mary's. 14 goals to 5. <laughs>